was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should just go to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in, in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. But I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. We'll read different books then. The books is Jack's. And well, That's so maybe sad. he's doing most of the reading, but still. But Arthur died. You're a bad Arthur died. On your mother, boy. Boy. We knew it was gonna Sorry, happen. What was that? And tuberculosis yeah, in that time books. isn't exactly an easy thing to get. On your mother. Survive. Which books? Which books was that? You know that dime novel or Boy Calloway okay. and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. I'm just mad we didn't get to kill Micah. I know, seriously. It would have made me feel better about dying. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Yeah, it has. work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. I gotta be John. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest, and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I, and our boy, we was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Not it. a wagon, by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. So, we're going to take a moment and talk about our feelings. Yeah. How do you feel, dear? Um, I'm sad. I'm very sad. I feel like we bonded with Arthur. Like, I mean, I like John, but... It's... 
one of those things where you, it's been a long time since I played a game where you kind of connect with a character so much in the way that they grow. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> so, I'm really sad to see Arthur dead. Yeah, given that it just happened, I haven't had time to process it yet. And, uh, I'm really sad. I just wish we would have gotten to kill Micah. Yeah. And I wonder what happened afterward. Like, where did Dutch go? I don't know, and I, f I have a feeling that I think we're officially in the first epilogue. Yeah. Which I'm assuming is... Excuse me. The epilogues are meant to bridge the gap between what happened in this game and with Arthur and kind of connect to where okay. the first Red Dead Redemption starts. Yeah. And how, how it leads up to John hunting down Dutch and uh, Bill. Oh god, Bill's such an asshole. I don't remember, like, I don't remember Micah being in the first one, so I could be mistaken, but I, I'm hoping that in the epilogues we'll kind of get a resolution to the rat that is Micah. Yeah. It kind of looked like Dutch was kind of done with him. Yeah. We just didn't know what to think anymore and just kind of... I just liked Arthur so much as a character, like, always being kind of in the gray area, but always leaning towards, like, doing the right thing and helping people. Yeah. Granted, we gotta choose some of that on our own. Yeah. I'm glad we were able to get our maximum honor. That was awesome. Like, right at that moment, like, it was really cool to be. Yeah, the very last choice we get to make. That was pretty epic. Couldn't have planned that better if we tried. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not sure if we should keep going or wait to do the epilogue or. Uh, let's finish this mission because I'm sure then maybe we'll probably get a chance to wrap up the episode. Yeah. Obviously, don't want to do here. I'm gonna hit this bunny. Oh, damn it, I missed. Or wreck the wagon trying to yeah, run we're over a planning on, it. We're planning on doing the epilogues, but. We haven't quite decided whether I'm gonna do them on my own. While I'm gone. Yeah. If you don't remember, Jason's gonna be leaving for work for about six months. So, we're not gonna be able to really record together much, if at all. Yeah. So... I'm... So I may do the epilogue on my own. Um... I'm... We may... Because once we get back together, we have plans to do Kingdom Hearts 3. If you've been following our Kingdom Hearts 2, let's play. Yeah. Um... So yeah, it just kind of depends. Since the epilogue's probably not too long, and part of me really wants to be able to dive in and play th through it again, I might do it while I'm gone. Yeah. If that's okay with Carrie. Yeah. And then she can watch it to see what the story. Yeah, and I really kind of want to watch someone play the first Red Dead Redemption. So if any of you that are watching this one have played the first one, um, and. This must be it. Put up posted videos, send them our way. Well, let me know, because I will probably watch it. So I'm really curious to see what happens. But, uh. Yeah, right now I'm just sad. Yeah, I'm just. Ugh. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. 
I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Oh, shit. Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Take that horse if you need it. Take the horse. <laughs> Get him. That's my damn wagon. All right. I got it. Nope. <laughs> You're getting out of that wagon one way or another. Whoa, whoa. All you had to do was ask. Back up. All we're asking is Mr. Ken Tanks, Mr. Abel's offer. Or, well, we might not be so well, That was easy. Yeah. I do like it out here. We were out this direction before by Strawberry. I liked it out here. Cause all the wildflowers, yeah, the until meadows. We, uh, killed half of strawberry thanks to Micah. Yeah. We really didn't go back to strawberry all that much after that. No. Yeah, we didn't really go to this back out to this side of the map. And there's a whole section of map that I, we haven't even been we to. We never found out what happened in Blackwater. We can finally go back to Blackwater. I brought your wagon back, sir. Thank you. Milton, no, isn't it? Our wagon. Shit. Those boys are out of Laramie Shit. to work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. I, aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself okay, you know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But, we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Officially begun. Look at the little house. All right, and this 
mission complete, so... We need to change this outfit. Yeah, that's a horrible outfit. That, that needs to change. Where can I Long change? Long live the pirate hat. Let's, hold on. I gotta see if I can change my outfit. I can shave. I don't need to shave. There's fruit and veggies. You need to play the game again just so uh, you can grow out Arthur's beard all the way. I'm gonna do it to John. Chewing tobacco. Can I, I miss change John's my clothes? long hair. I guess I can't change my clothes right that, now. That sucks. Anyway, we should wrap this up. We should call this an episode. So, this isn't goodbye, per se. This is see you later. Yeah. It may be just a little bit between posting this episode and the rest of the epilogues. But our goal was we wanted to get through at least the main story. Yes. Arthur's story, we'll call it. Yep. Um, I, I'll do the epilogues but we definitely want to do enjoy arthur's story with you guys and we're interested to hear your reactions and feelings we're both a little heartbroken yeah i'm gonna need some time after this it'll be good to play kingdom hearts yeah <laughs> but guys it's been fun as always and we look forward to seeing you for the next one yes thank you so much for watching and if you have any feedback just let us know uh we love feedback so um and tell hope... jonathan james that we're not boring Yes, I was about to say that. Like, I hope you don't think we're boring, but if you've watched this far, I don't think you think we're boring. So, But guys, until the next game. Yes, thank we you so much for watching. We are the Play Games, and we'll see you soon. And like, subscribe, comment, all the things, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.